I have bought a lot of these things, carpenter squares, framing squares, triangles, and uh, none of them is square. <laughs> Not square enough for me. I want something that's dead square. This is like $30 and it's not perfectly square. So I could spend $290 at Woodpecker and get a perfectly square square that's 24 inches long because that's you need one that's long enough to be able to set the fence of your sled and that's 24 inches this isn't going to 10 inches isn't going to cut it and i'd like to have a perfectly square 24 inch square around so let's see if i can make a perfectly square square out of a piece of three quarter inch plywood so for this exercise i'm assuming that i only have a straight fence and a straight blade that these are parallel so the first thing I want to make is a two foot wide piece of plywood that's exactly two feet. And I can see there's a tiny amount of variance here. Not much, but I'm just going to try to shave off a bit here and see if I can just get a perfect edge. This is going to be a tool. I don't want it to be too thick. It doesn't have to be too heavy. It's also very light plywood and very rigid, uh, but it doesn't have to be too thick. So I'll, and I want the blade as high as I can get it to come down here so that when I stop, I'm as close to vertical as I can get. I can take this off and I can finish with just finish up with a handsaw so the basic method is to start by making yourself the squarest possible tool you can using your own methods and get it as good as you can I've taken my square here and I put it up against the straight edge that I put right against the back of my tabletop and you can see here 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 is the it's really hard to see but here's the discrepancy we're we're very much up against the slot there and here it's just a bit more open see that it's really like maybe two two pieces of painters tape it's very awkward trying to trim this and make it a little skinnier on this end on the table saw. It's almost impossible. You can go the other way, but not this way. So I just thought it would be easy to use my hand plane. I took off a little too much on that side, so I'll just, I'm getting there, but I'll take off a bit on this side now. Just a bit more. <clears throat> For this kind of thing, a longer plane is better, but I only have one plane. 
and it's very sharp. Now I've got a little more to take off here. And let's check it. Probably needs just a touch more right in here. Not much, almost there. Okay, here is a final check. I've put a straight, aluminum straight edge across back here to make sure this is stable and then this fits right along there I just have no play there so now I will make a line here I think this is a more accurate method than using the slot on the table saw because it's hard to square up against the table saw back Now, on this side. Let's check. Now you can see it's just dead on. All the way, all the way along, it's dead on the line. And so this is dead square. This does, it, it doesn't get more square. This is well within a thousandth of an inch on two feet. So this method really works and I recommend using the flip method with a nice stable back to get a strong, to get a good right angle on your plywood square. So there are two methods to dialing in the, the angle. You can either do it here on the table saw and then go back to the bench and make your adjustments with the plane or just do it with a, a rig and use the flip method which I like better and I think I can get good feedback quickly and then make changes right there with the plane and it just only takes a few minutes to adjust your one dollar <laughs> uh, square to be a very useful tool in setting fences and other jobs around the shop where you need a perfect 90 degree dead flat square and finally I just put a little, uh, I finished up these interiors and I, I put a little hole here just because it looks cool. And then I put a hole right here because that's the balance point. And then, so if you want to hang it on the wall, it's going to hang straight up and down. So that's my product. It took about no more than an hour and a half and it's going to be useful for many years.